And the last one here, probably probably the biggest one, I think, that we're going to see how things are going to change here, which is closed versus open. And this is this is, has three different parts to it that I want to talk about here. So the first one, the most obvious one, is the stock market. The stock market opens at 9 a.m. every day, closes at 5. Bitcoin never closes. It's open 24-7. And over the weekend, we saw the price of Bitcoin running up. It went from like 66000 to 72000 while Wall Street, while the internet was closed, the old internet. So that's one example. And I do think that things are going to change because whenever Wall Street is getting screwed, they change the rules to the game. So I don't think we're going to be living in a world where the where the stock market closes every day. I think it's going to be, things are going to be tokenized and it's going to be open 24-7, which it should be. We have the ability to do it already. So that's one. The second one there is the closed versus open source. So the old internet, a company would fire up they would have, uh, let's say, use Twitter as an, as an example. They would have their algorithms. They would have their centralized servers. They would have their source code, but it would be closed. So nobody could replicate that. So that creates, it's created what we have today, where we have Facebooks, Twitters, TikToks. They, they own their source code. It's all closed. So I can't go in there and copy and paste it and make my own TikTok because it's all closed. The new internet. Everything is open source, including the Bitcoin code. So you can go into anything. If I wanted to set up a Nostra client today, if I looked at, let's use Amethyst. If I wanted to make a, an Amethyst of my own, we'll call it Jorathist, I could go in there, look at their, so if I knew what I was doing, which I don't, but I could go in there and copy their source code, paste it into my own, and then just add a few different features in there. So my app would be using their code, but I would just make a few changes to mine. And so what that creates is that people are just going to be building and building and building and, and improving things. Because if you compare that to Twitter, where if you if I had a good idea that I wanted to implement using the Twitter protocol or the Twitter source code, there's no way for me to do that today. But with Noster, everything being open source, I can do that. And it's not going to be Facebook versus Twitter. It's going to be Noster versus everyone else. Every client on Noster, every time somebody joins Noster, that's going to benefit the whole ecosystem because it's all open source. And everybody's building together over there. So that's the second part. And then the third one is the market. We talked about the stock market, but I want you also to think about the general market, so buying and selling online and finding people to work with, building your network. The old internet is very closed. Five years ago, if you wanted to reach out to somebody in Malaysia and get them to develop an app for you, think about the process with that. You would have to get in touch with them, email them, get their payment information, uh, discuss how much you want to charge for it, how much they want to charge for it. You'd have to get their banking information. Somehow that money that you sent to Malaysia would have to get there. I don't know how it would, I don't know how it would work. You'd have to get their bank information. You can't just send an e-transfer or a PayPal, but you'd have to get their banking information. And that's very difficult for a lot of people. A lot of people don't have bank accounts in these other countries. So that's kind of how things were. It was very hard for us to hire people, to hire talent to help us in other parts of the world with this closed internet that we had, closed banking system that we had. But today, if I wanted to hire somebody in Malaysia to do an app for me, they send me a price in Bitcoin. We don't have to do any currency conversions back and forth. They send me their price in Bitcoin. They send me a lightning invoice and I pay it. That's it. Even in that old system, even if I did find a way to pay them, think about all the different people in between there who are going to be taking a fee off of that. Or if you want to send through like a payday loans or whatever it is, however you send cash at other parts of the world, they take like 25% of that right off the top. That's the closed old system. The new one, you can send Bitcoin through Lightning to any person on earth without any fees without anybody's permission, that's the new internet.
close versus open. That's a good way to end that. What do we think? I wanted to get through that quickly. I think I did. Um, but that was a new one for me. I tried out the, the little presentation there. I missed all the stuff happening on Zap.Stream today. I apologize for that. Because my other screen was full. So let's let's check in quickly on, on uh, Zap.Stream and see what we missed there. So Crypto Ethan says, while well, likes are abstractly valuable, while zaps are truly valuable. Yes, exactly. So that, that's just one example, likes versus zaps. I mean, what do you get for, if you post a picture on Instagram, somebody likes your, your post, what do you get from that? Just you get to feel good for a couple seconds. Noster, somebody likes that picture. You post a picture of your dog or you're golfing for the day. Somebody likes that. Instead of liking it, they can actually send money, send actual value. Which which system do you think is going to win there? All of these. Go go back. I mean, we kind of went through that fast. It's probably a lot to take in there at once. But go back and watch that and think about which which system that people are going to choose to use. Closed or open? Spam, fam, zaps, likes. Like, what do you what do you think is going to happen here as we move forward? People aren't just going to keep living in this old system and hoping things change. They're going to people are going to talk. They're going to realize what's happening over here. And slowly, everybody's going to move into this new Internet. And keep in mind that this is not something that's going to happen next year, even though everything's kind of built. It's going to continue to be built. But this isn't something that happens in a year. This is going to take a lot of time for people to not only realize it, understand the implications, understand the benefits to the new internet. And it takes time. Everything does. And it's probably not going to be for everybody. There's going to be people who live their whole life and they never interact on, in this new system. They're going to keep using the Googles. They're going to keep using the Facebooks. And that's fine. But we're moving away from that. We're creating our own ecosystem here, built on an open system. Built on your reputation, without a middleman. Just think about that. Think about how much things are going to change here because it's so much better, so much more efficient in every aspect. <clears throat> Shout out to Grinder. Let's. Uh, oh, this is some good info here. So the Grinder zapped 121 sats over on Zap.Stream. Thank you for that. And he says also check out Noogle.lol/discover. So this looks like the a Google for Noster. It says algorithms, but you are the one in control. So I'm going to take this link here that the grinder just gave us. I'm going to bring it up here first to show you just the interface of it. So this is Noogle. <laughs> but I'm going to give you, I'm going to put this into the description below here. So you can check it out if you have some time today. So this is this looks like the Google version using what we just spent an hour talking about the new internet so i'm gonna i'm gonna try that today so it looks like you can pay a couple sats to get content from noster that's very cool uh what else he says that's your noster search engine <clears throat> uh ballsy golf says i like that you can post links on zap.stream anything else pictures too yes Look at that. Uh, the grinder says you can post notes, another stream, blogs, recipes, emojis, badges. If there is a nip, you can tag that in the chat. Like how how cool is that? Honestly, YouTube's YouTube's great. I mean, I can bring up a comment here easily, but you can't like different comments. You can't post links in there. You can't post pictures in there. W what do you think is going to win here? YouTube or Zap.Stream? It's just better. Everything's just better. And when things are better, people figure it out eventually and they move there. And when people move there, there's more capital, there's more investment, there's more people building. And that's how things come to light. Great info 